Hey, Scott here. Today I want to talk to you about a lawn tractor that I picked up. Uh, the the uh, owner of the lawn tractor was getting rid of it because the reverse stopped working. And um, so I kind of took it off their hands and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, you know what, maybe it's just a matter of an adjustment. So I'm going to dig into it here and uh, we'll find out what's going on. So check it out. Alright, so today's project is this Craftsman LT3000. It's got a six speed transmission and a reverse. And it's here because there is no reverse. And I think the previous owner might have got a little angry. <laughs> and we're probably slamming it backwards and broke some plastic here, but we'll uh we're gonna we're gonna take care of that. So as you can see I have it up on jack stands so it doesn't roll away and I can make adjustments without having to sit on it or have it roll off on me. I think what's going to happen though, there's this adjustment down there that I'm going to adjust and see if that makes a difference. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is get this tire off. So let's pop that off. So another thing I'm going to do is take off this plastic thing up here by the fender. And I see some bolts up underneath the hood there. Uh, excuse me, underneath the fender. Alright, so underneath the fender we're going to take off a couple of bolts here and here. And get that out of the way. And there's a wire plugged in here. We can un we can unplug that. I think that's that's for the safety. That's the make sure that it's in neutral before it starts. And of course, that's not working right now. It might have been bypassed by the previous owner, but all right, let's get to it. bend that back in place maybe but I have access to that that's good all right so down here 
I'm looking at these bits here and I think if I loosen this and this you'll see there's a slotted hole and this is the bracket that actually is attached inside on the transmission or the transaxle whatever you want to call it and this of course is the lever for shifting gears so the slot must be there for adjusting purposes and even this is slotted so I'm thinking if I loosen these two bolts slide this bracket to the left a little bit and then retighten this let's see if we can get it to go all the way in reverse all right I'm gonna start the lawn tractor up and I start playing around with the bracket there and see if I can get this thing to turn forward and backward at the appropriate time I think I was able to get it on the first try so with the bolt almost in the middle here when I pull the shift lever like right here is a neutral position or at least that's the neutral position <laughs> that stops the axle from spinning and then when I pull it up into reverse it want the, the axle goes in reverse and I can't stop it with my hand like I could before so I think it's going to be time to put the wheel back on, take it for a little ride and see what happens. <laughs> and the battery's still dead.
All right, we got reverse once again. And uh, now we're going to put this back on and, um, well, hopefully we'll get lucky and, and neutral will be in the neutral spot. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so things aren't quite lining up the way they're supposed to. This is actually the neutral position, and you'll see it doesn't line up with the plastic. So I think we're going to have to go down and adjust the, the bracket underneath the fender once again so that this will at least line up with that. And hopefully when we tighten it back up again, reverse will still be functioning. So let's get to it and see what happens. It's a win. Neutral position on the fender is actually neutral in the transmission. And forward is forward and reverse is reverse. So there we go. All it took was uh, loosen a couple of bolts and adjust that bracket a little bit. And we're back in business. Now let's get some air in these tires and do some other minor stuff and get them on. <laughs> Thanks for watching.